Hello and welcome back to Darkwood Alpha 7.1. We're on day 23, I believe, and we're now uh, gonna head off to the old woods again to see if we can't find this train wreck that our journal insists is somewhere in the northeastern part of the old woods. So, ah, uh, wrong key. I'm gonna go ahead and just run, because these parts are super safe com compared to the old woods at least. Hey, crow. Well, that's right, I remember. I can actually attack the crows if I want to. They drop meat, unsurprisingly, perhaps. That's exactly one dog. Looted that guy already. Here we are. Back to the transition area. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that open, even though it goes against everything I hold dear. It's a little bit more convenient that way. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Oh, damn it. Ah, this is why I should have made antidotes. Should have made antidotes. I should have been getting those mushrooms and I should have been making antidotes from them. That's what I should have been doing. Alright, so at this point, map. I am somewhere down here and there's clearly nothing of value here. So let's keep on exploring. Did that prolong it? It does, doesn't it? Damn it. Uh nope. Okay. Oh, it heals it too, I didn't know that. Now I do. Hooray. Broken tree. There it is, yay. Yeah, leave it alone. Not interested in picking a fight right now. I do have limited healing items after all. What is this? Okay, let's go this way. Nothing. Alrighty. Well, I guess the train wreck might have moved. <sighs> it used to be along the edges. So maybe it's no longer along the edges? I also don't know exactly what northeastern means on a shape like this. Like, it could be everything from anywhere in here to anywhere in here. So it clearly isn't this. So I don't... I don't know, I guess. Like, somewhere is a train wreck. Northeastern part of the old woods is all I got to guide me. Oh, okay, there's the fence. Couldn't really see it. It doesn't seem to be related to the broken tree. It's kind of the best I've got, though. That's the, that's the thing that looks most like a place. But I guess we can just start scanning everything. Northeastern part of the old woods. Okay. Maybe this isn't really a, a block off. I just need to find like the, the, the needle to thread to get back there. It's a thought at least. I don't really know what else to do. Like we've kind of been over everything in these areas. There isn't really a whole lot left. Hey, dog. No. No, oh, come on. Hey, you. Corpse. Now we're back here, so... I don't know. It's not a great feeling, though, that knowing of, like, I know where I gotta go, I just don't know where it is. I just don't know its exact location as the game wants me to. Or maybe it's just bugged. Who knows? Down here? 
Looks like a thing. Okay, I know what that is. That's this. Striding northward. This is taking less time than I thought, honestly. I was expecting to spend more time running around right now. Nope. What? what? Why did you do that? Don't do that. Leave me alone. Are you one are you the one that chased me forever ago? Are you still mad about that? Yeah, whatever. I'll take your shit though. That I will do. Alright. Road. The only bit of road we have. Jeez, we're somewhere in here. I guess I'm gonna try going all the way north. That's not bad. Shotgun shell's good. Like, what's above this thing? Who knows? Ooh, planks. Good to know. If I ever need them, I know where they are. Where they have been hiding. Here we go. Okay, so it was up here. Okay, well, here we are. What is this? Large mushrooms. Okay. The music is new. I appreciate it though. It helps us cement that this is a place and it's a little creepy. And yes, I do know that it's the same as the uh, Hunter House music. I just appreciate the tone it adds. Alright, anything else to explore nearby? It's just all these mushrooms that I'm not going to bother with. Right? He oh, okay. Step on them? Yes. Fuck. Oh, here's an interesting test case. Um, let's keep the poison on and, s and get into the dream and see what happens. Because it should transfer. But I doubt anyone's thought about that possibility. <sighs> Let me prepare for this, because I'm always... <sighs> Torn photo? His wife, presumably? <coughs> That's a good touch. That's new. Oh. Oh, what? Uh... Fine. I saw you. You're here somewhere, probably. <laughs> That's really cool. It, it's I. That is much better than the. So you went on a doctor's appointment, eh? Boy, I accidentally set you up. The doctor has not tried to hide his amusement. Fortunately, I'm afraid you will not have a chance to thank him for it. Okay. His face suddenly stiffens. I was waiting for you, you little rat. Your kind is a rare breed here. Your kind visits us whenever you please. You hide behind the trees, watch us from a distance, and then disappear. I can feel the doctor's cold hand grab me by the jaw, twisting my inert head so he can look me straight into the eyes. Luckily for me, something happened. Your companions have laughed you, and you couldn't handle the woods. You had a taste of the life you have to live here, eh? Did you like it? Do you want more? He takes out a full syringe out of his pocket. I'll show you more. Alrighty. I am now playing Doctor. Except I can't... Oh, there's an invisible object. Is that me? Like, real me? And I'm controlling him? That's weird. I do like this part. Oh, there it is. There's the body. That's a little strange, but okay. Let's see if there's anything new here. Because there hasn't been in a while. What is he doing? What is he doing? Laughing or something? 
Then he pulled out his arm. What did he do with his arm? I couldn't tell because of the flashing light. So that's different. This is already very different. I did like the, um, the gassing that went on, though. I thought that was very... It made more sense than stabbing with the syringe, because that just seems like it would work. You just end up with the syringe inside you and not very effective. I guess I am the doctor now. So far it tells the same story, but there's a few more details, which is nice. I appreciate this. And I still like the whole like dreaming sequence way this works out. Cause it's a very it's very clever, right? Like I'm still playing mechanically I'm doing the same thing I was doing before, but the aesthetics are completely different. And um I also appreciate this, and this is something I personally like where they're making use of the fact that this is a video game and not anything else. So as I move through the space, things happen and things change and etc. Okay. I'm guessing you shut up. She's praying. So I guess that's that that binds the like maybe the religion really is Christianity? Not sure. I mean not that only Christians pray, but the ties, you know, there's a religious tie here, there are crosses, so maybe? Cure! I have cured with left click. he can do and they're like you're not helping you charlatan it's like i understand their feelings but it's also <sighs> he's doing what he can i don't know just that's that feeling of like well there's two feelings one that these bodies or whatever that you're seeing that are kind of people like they were actually people once this is underscoring that and two just his situation of like he can't help them so he has, but he still has to do something. So he does something that he knows is ineffective because it maybe at best staves things off. <sighs> Talk. I feel as if my head is about to explode under the pressure of the wagon's walls. Do you hear me? I know you do. I barely recognize the doctor's blur blurry image. Do you want this to end? Would you like to get out? Maybe now you understand how I feel. Locked away with all these deformed, reeking bodies among the cries of all those wretched villagers. How was I supposed to help them? How? At first they were begging for help, but now I have to hide from them. Yeah, you can tell. The doctor goes silent. It feels like whole hours pass by. Can you hear it? No, it's the walls. They speak to me. My little girl is calling me. I know she's waiting for me. I must get back to her. She's so close. Little girl. Well, yeah, the photo. So he has a he has a daughter. His voice breaks down. I want to go back home. The pain is unbearable. Show me where the exit to this place is. 
The silhouette slowly blurs away. Show me where! Where is it? Where? Alright. Let's hope I don't get screwed over by my keyboard like last time. Hey, you. Lighting is better, that's good. Uh. Oh. oh, fuck. The lighting is great. I love the lighting. The lighting makes everything better. It really does. I'm out of breath. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that's so good! Stop eating me! It's annoying. Ah, <sighs> what? Oh, that is a lot easier than it used to be. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. So, I would like to take a moment to comment on that, because it used to be that it was all dark and hard to tell, and you, you, like, I would always just. You just had to memorize it. That was really the only way to get through, because you didn't have enough time to, like, figure out the path, because you couldn't see anything. This time, though, the lighting makes the path pretty clear, um, though I'm guessing if you went through that the first time, you'd still be panicked enough and um, not necessarily have the best idea of what you were... Because, like, for example, I brought in the previous knowledge I had, that um, that second part with the bridge, that, like, yes, there's, there's, like, a specific bridge I have to go over. So if you're processing it for the first time, I can see how it would be much more stressful. But since I had that a little bit of that prior knowledge and the lighting, I was able to sort of piece it all together in my head and just make it through. And that was great. Oh, that was great. The doctor is lying over the train car's wall. His face is covered in sweat. The scent of alcohol fills the air. Don't come near me. I won't give you back the key. I saved your life. You would have run it away if it wasn't for me. You owe me something. He covers his face with his hands. Please, this key is my only hope. I can see the panic in his eyes. Help me escape this place. Help me or kill me. Honestly, you're a bastard. You're a real bastard. You tied me up. You shot me up with some weird gas. Um, but I don't... I think you have reason to hate me. From what I saw of your memories. Where apparently, where, wherever we are, are always watching. So, I don't know, I kind of, I guess this is a difficult choice, because in-game, my character still knows, like, he has knowledge that I don't have. From my perspective, if I was an amnesiac or whatever, I would do this, but I'm afraid he would betray me later on. Like, he would say, like, well, you know, you're, you're kind, right? Like, you're kind, or awful, and you've, you know, look, you've inflicted this upon us all, so... I am more than willing to sacrifice you for something. On the other hand, everything he's doing makes sense. Like, he tried to help. He knows that I can help get him out. So, I don't know, maybe it will make it less likely for him to betray me if I do show him mercy. That is what I want to do, though. Escape. I take out my map and show the doctor the abandoned house where the underground entrance is. He looks at the map for a long while, not raising his sight to meet mine. Thank you. He removes his dirty glasses with a trembling hand and stands still. I will wait for you there. The good doctor. Okay. I found the doctor. I agreed to help him escape the woods. We are to meet again inside the underground passage by the metal door. Whew. Sorry, I'm still processing this. That's cool. I... I think before you didn't really have... Did you have the option to help him? You didn't really. It was just like you won, and um... 
so off you go. Oh, I like that I can keep flipping like an idiot. <sighs> yeah, but I, I like... I understand his plight. It makes total sense. I would want to... If I was him... I don't know that I'd do everything he did, to be <laughs> frank. But, um... I understand. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Leave. Should we wrap up chapter one, or should I go do the violin extra crap? Here's a better question. Can we... All of that. No, I'm just gonna wrap it up. Frankly, I want to move on to some other games. I think we've seen like all of the cool stuff. Um, I'm also less enthusiastic about. Let's get runner going. About um, trying to do, to, you know, give the violin and the thing. Because at least in the past, it hasn't very much. When I gave her the wedding ring, she didn't react at all. Um, so that tells me that probably she's not going to react to the violin either. Because, you know, those seem like it would be... They would elicit similar reactions if there was anything. Or at least they should. So either they've got one of the interactions in place, not the other one. Which is possible and unfortunate. Uh, or there just aren't, isn't, you know, any of that. And my inclination is probably not any of that, just because of the way the story pans out. Um, I do like that I got a chance to redeem myself with the dream, though, even though it was made substantially easier. But I approve of this, this ease, and that's kind of what I was trying to get to when I was discussing it, because it's, it, it, it was a lot easier for me, because I also know I know how it works, like I know the basic layout, so I was able to sprint my way through it. But I think it's still, it's still sufficiently confusing that uh, someone, someone who's doing this for the first time, like they would have a much tenser experience than I did. Like they'd, they'd have chompers much more at their heels, um, just because they would be, you know. Uh, they would be sort of having to figure out, like, w wait, what is this, like, chasm, what can I do, oh, I see the bridge, and, and those kinds of things. I don't even care anymore. I just hope there aren't choppers in the underground entrance. Where is this? It says I'm here. It should be here? Oh, there we go. Ah. Alrighty. I don't remember if I left the door open, or if they're just... Is that because the doctor came? I hope he's alive. That would suck if he makes it all the way through here and his... his... just his, his, his corpse. It's like, well, I tried to help. Hey, you. Oh, it's not moving this time. That's great. I guess. Steam client update. 
All right, so, uh, yeah. Let's see where this saved. Hopefully, probably just at, it saved at least after the, the chopper dream, I hope. May have saved when we went to the underground entrance, which would be even better, because that's a lot less time of stuff. I don't know if you guys can see this. This would probably be the first time that I catch the loading screen on video, um, other than the very first, like the very first Alpha 6 video, where I just wanted to make sure I got a complete Darkwood experience. This is what I uh, experience every time before I even start recording. It's wonderful. So that's... yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, I'm gonna give it one more go and try... I'm gonna try just interacting with the door and seeing if, like, I can open it and then talk to him. Uh, or I'll just open it and it will end and, and hopefully that will be that, but... Yeah, that was weird. I've never seen it... This is the first time I run into a just, like, progression stopper like that in Darkwood. I've I've hit a couple of like you know, like we, we saw was it this playthrough? I think it was. It was the previous one. Oh nope. Didn't save in the the thing. Alright, that's fine. You can make the jog. It's not a long jog or anything. Alright, up we go. I was really hoping it had saved during the <laughs> when I went to the underground. That would have been better. Hello, things. Oh, and I'm already ran out of runner. These perks just don't last very long at all. Thing just died. Poor guy. Whatever. He's never been good to me. I think the other side of this, at least. Down? Eventually? Oh man, I left go to too late. Oh well. Uh, no, no, I think this is right. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I think the pig shed has been the only kind of, like, shit don't work bug I've run into ever. I've never ran into this kind of, like, gotta reboot thing. Kind of. I just realized that, uh, I really hope it's still capturing the video. I know that it's capturing, um, audio, almost certainly. I don't know about video, because the window got killed, I killed it at least, and then the uh, new window came up that should match all the criteria, but maybe it doesn't, who knows? Maybe this is all just me talking at a blank screen that I'm going to have to cut out, possibly. Alright. Here we are. That didn't take very long at all. So, alright. This time... One... Do we really need the... I guess we don't really need the flashlight. Just gonna need to run for a while in this direction. And then what the weird thing is there, we run down. This way. There we go. Uh, I guess this is this. Which is still completely useless. Yep. Weird stones are still worthless, which makes me sad. Really wish they had a use. Alright, let's interact with the door first. Armored door. Now you have a little image. That's cool. I like that. It's closed. This is my only way of getting out of this forest, but I won't be able to open it without my key. Look at the handle. 
handle's covered in a thick layer of dust. No one's opened it for at least a fortnight. It looks like we were the last ones here. We. Who is this we? Pressing against the keyhole. Among the howling of the wind, I can hear a faint voice. It seems familiar. It comes from inside the keyhole. Someone is calling my name. Well, we have a name. That's good. Uh. Yeah. I think there's anything else. Insert key! Is that it? Oh, okay. Alright, well. Cool. That's it then. Still no no chapter two. That's fine. We're back at square one. It is six PM. Time hasn't moved. And it just saved. So I think Ha ah, I'm gonna pause time with the map. I just want to give some wrapping up thoughts, because, um, yeah, I'm just going to end this here. I'm not going to do the violin thing, because I, I don't expect it to work. Um, I just don't want to waste time trying to record an episode of that. Uh, 23 days is not too bad. That's about my usual playthrough length. Um, I really like all of the new story-related content. You know, like the stuff that happened there with the, the dream that was a little bit more... Um, finessed, a little bit more detail to it, that just helped add a little bit more punch, a little bit more immersion. Um, I really like the idea that you can side with the Doctor. Um, that, I don't think that was an option before, you could just sort of like win and then abandon him. And uh, it seems, you know, neat to be able to save someone from this hell that this place is. So I really look forward to seeing if there's something like, uh, you know, the, like the, how does that change Chapter 2 if I do or don't take the Doctor? Uh, what impact does that have with respect to the Chicken Lady or something like that? Because one of the options, if you do, well, if you do the Wolfman's Quest, you can get sort of proof for the Chicken Lady that her brother is dead. Does that have, what are the ramifications of those choices? So on and so forth. So, I like the direction. I look forward to seeing more of it. Um, I think most of the mechanics for this game are already in place. Knights are much more interesting than you know they were <laughs> during the first first couple of alphas. Um, we have a lot of uh, a lot of enemy types. Weapons are you know a little more complex. I guess my only concern is just that there's a uh, like this is only chapter one, and you're like I've already maxed out weapons, so it seems like it would either have to be much slower ramp up level wise and weapon wise, or there would have to be something like uh, they just have to add a lot more content, right? Like they'd have to add a lot more perks and skills and weapons and upgrade paths and all these things to to make like because. You know, what am I going to do in Chapter 2 as for the workshop? The workshop is just totally upgraded, so the workshop has to do more now, and I don't know that that's a great thing. Like, obviously I think, you know, it's obviously fairly limited right now, but it, if this is going to be a game with, I don't know what the plan is, I guess, but let's say it has four or five chapters, then uh, it would need, you know, something like three to four times as much weapon variety and upgrade tree stuff, and I don't know that that would really help the game overall. Um, maybe just a few more branches uh, that you can take might be a good approach. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I think the game looks good. I want to see more new, new stuff, because I just, I can't I can't keep playing this pretty much same content over and over. Like, something, for me, it just doesn't quite work out that way very well. I think I had my fill of exploring it when it was uh, Alpha 1 or 2, and I just sort of explored all the nooks and crannies of the map, and I guess it's also partly because there hasn't really been any new, really substantially new locations since then. Um, there have been a few little varieties, like burned houses are new, looking over the map, uh, you know, silos new, that kind of stuff, but by and large you explore and you find, you know, rocks and, and weird, the weird question mark places and the church and some of those things. So, yeah. Um, 
I I'm going to go ahead and say that at this point uh, I'm I'm going to be switching to Dark Souls 2. I don't know if anybody wants to watch that, but it's what I want to play before Dark Souls 3 comes out. We'll probably go a little bit ways into Dark Souls 3, and then I'm going to switch to that because uh, I really want to get through that game sooner rather than later. Um, so I'm probably not going to play Alpha 7 2 if 7 2 is still current when when I'm done with all of that, which it might be. You know, that's a month or two down the line or something. Um, then I will switch to 7 2. And we'll get a look through at some of the stuff that changed there, because there's like destructible furniture now, and a few other tweaks to, to the, like, the narrative stuff. Um, but otherwise, I wouldn't, uh, you know, don't hold your breath for that Alpha 7.2 playthrough. It might become Alpha 7.3 before I get back to Darkwood. Um, anyway, thank you for watching my uh, Darkwood Alpha 7.1 playthrough. Um, I hope you'll uh, keep up, and watch some of the other stuff I play, hopefully. Uh, if not, that's fine. I mean, watch whatever you like. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.